All right, we are live. We are going out to the world. Well, hello everybody, wherever you are watching from. It is, uh, it's nice to be back, it's nice to be playing live. And um, I'll be going live on this. I forgot this, unbelievable. Nice one, Shane. Forgot to go live on Instagram. Apologies to all the Instagram folks. Okay, so we are on. Please feel free to uh, send in your comments. I can see all your comments, unlike the last stream. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing all of this new music for you from my brand new album, Idzer Hill. So, let's get it going. I am going to start off with a uh, the first set on the album. And this is a set called Summer. Uh, this is made up of three different tunes. I'll talk a little bit about it uh, just after I play it. but. Um, the first one is St. Patrick's Day, a famous or a very well-known set dance. After St. Patrick's Day comes Unjig, uh, which is a tune of mine, and into Ulan Chapel as well. So, Okay, let's get it going. Summer Anywhere, that's the very first set off of Idzer Hill. Uh, lovely to see so many of you tuning in this evening on uh, all the various different platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Periscope, all the usuals. Um, nice to be doing a live stream gig again. It's, I know it's been a little while since I've done one. Um, just to let you know, uh, if you want to leave a comment and you want me to be able to see it and react to it, make sure you leave it on either YouTube, 
uh, or Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, Irish Music Magazine are hosting this video um, on Facebook. So make sure to leave it on the live stream itself so that I can reply to you uh, in real time. So as I said, that is Summer Anywhere. Uh, two nights ago I went up to Dublin Castle and I filmed that set for, um, uh, for Tradfest. Uh, Tradfest, uh, their festival in Fort was cancelled this year. I was due to do a gig in the Pepper Canister Church uh, in Dublin City, uh, but that is now not happening. Uh, and instead we recorded a TV series. So I was uh, in the round with Zoe Conway and John McIntyre and uh, Fiachna O'Brien on from the Hothouse Flowers he was hosting. So it was, uh, oh, it was a fantastic experience to be able to sit and listen to, you know, unbelievable music coming from uh, Zoe and John. Um, and it was nice to see people for the first time in a long time. It felt like a little mini festival, you know. We had a little one of the museum galleries was our green room, uh, so I got to see like Eva Scott and Andy Meany and the, Mike Hanrahan and uh, who else? Tolu McKay, uh, Claire Sands. Um, so yeah, it was nice to actually be around people for the first time in a long time. Let's just see if we're in tune here. Um, so let me know where you're listening in from. Uh, let me know. Uh, how your Christmas preparations are going if you're celebrating Christmas let me know what you had for dinner all the usual stuff um, I am uh, just getting this in tune uh, I'm really excited to release Idrakil um, before I go any further I should say a huge thank you to the Arts Council um, who of course made Idrakil possible I won uh, an Arts Council um, I suppose a style of bursary at the start of the year the COVID-19 uh, Crisis Response Award and they awarded one to me, and uh, that essentially made it possible for me to actually have the time to sit down with all the trad music that I that I love, and a lot of music that I would have played years ago as a concertina player, um, to revisit that and work out you know the best way to play it on the guitar. So, I am uh, yeah, I'm very grateful to the Arts Council for making that happen. So, uh, I'm a little bit time limited this evening, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep talking to. Uh, well, I know, I like chatting, but uh, we won't do as much chatting as normal. I want to play the album for you, so... Shelley Roosh Burke, hello. Seamus Balfe tuned in. Mary Ann, my, my one woman publicist. Uh, Rob Houston, Seamus Kelleher. Casper Esman, fellow guitar player Casper Esman. You have to check Casper out if you haven't heard him. Um, Patrick O'Leary is tuned in in Lurville, Kentucky. Um, apparently, that's how they spot the blow ins over there. They say Louisville or Louisville. No, it's Lurville. There we go. Okay, so. Give you the second set from the album. Um, this is a set of tunes, uh, two hornpipes that start uh, the Blackbird, which many of you who follow me will know, um, and then the Flowers of Edinburgh, so lovely hornpipe as well. And then at the end uh, is a version of the, a reel called George White's Favorite, but I kind of play it half time. It's a lot more uh, groovy than I've heard before. So this is the second set on the album. This is called the Lundove set. Right. Thank you. 
That's the Lundove set, starting off with the Blackbird, um, then moving on to the Flowers of Edinburgh, and then uh, George White's favourite at the end. Great, uh, great tune. So uh, it's great to see so many people tuning in this evening. Um,
Sound back on? I think the sound is back on. Why did the sound go? I don't know. If it happens again, I know how to fix it. Alright. Yeah, the sound is back. Now I'm, I'm watching my little monitor here. Uh, that is odd. I don't know why the sound went off, but we'll, we'll fix it. If it happens again, just leave a load of comments again and I'll be able to see it. Alright, well, while I have the sound back, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll cut down on the talking and uh, do a bit more on the playing side of things. So, uh, let us continue on to the next track on the album, which is called Nagyaro Godova. And Nagyaro Godova means um, the short, dark days of winter. And this is one of the last tunes I composed for the album, um, because, you know, as at least if you're in Ireland, you know, where it's, we get about three hours of sunlight at the, at the moment, it feels like, you know, people turn on their heads in their cars at like two o'clock. Yeah, Gremlins is right, Marianne. <laughs> Something very, very strange. All right, listen, I'm gonna start playing. Hopefully the sound keeps on. If not, I've got a backup plan.
Nagaro Godova. And luckily the sound didn't cut out. I'm watching it here, so if it happens again, I'm going to be the first person to know. And I found a way to fix it, which is good. Uh, it's so nice to see all the nice comments uh, coming in and monitoring them all here. I uh, want to say hello uh, to Jim Siney uh, in particular, because Jim uh, is going to be part of a live stream that's going out tomorrow uh, featuring... Uh, Carlo artists. Usually we have a sort of a Christmas party here, at least all the kind of the musicians and the, the, the cool crew in Carlo. Uh, we have a, uh, a sort of an end of year party and uh, it's usually Jim's band that gets up tumbling dice um, and different variants of the band and unfortunately this year obviously we can't have it but I do know that tomorrow night it's going out, there's a, a recorded concert going out on a stream uh, with a lot of different acts uh, from the locality here. So I'm looking forward to watching that. That's going out tomorrow night. I think that's going to be on Facebook. Um, and another local thing I'm involved with here as well is uh, Ben FM. That's going to go out on the 21st of December. Brendan Hennessy, who is a, a relation of mine. And uh, he hosts all kinds of different people on this online sort of somewhere between a radio show and a TV show that he puts out online. Uh, but I'm going to be part of that on December the 21st as well. So... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, plenty to choose from. Uh, just last night I was part of the uh, Association of Irish and Celtic Festivals uh, stream that was with the Embassy of Ireland in the United States. Uh, it was a pleasure to be part of that. And I was also on a stream for um, AISHT, the cancer charity, uh, the sports centre here in Carlow, which was hosted by Derek Ryan, um, local country music artist. So um, it's nice to be able to sort of contribute uh, in you know my music to different good causes at this time of year because um, at least with the audience I have at least I can get messages across and you know hopefully be able to fundraise for some of these charities that, that definitely need it so um, so thank you to everybody who has uh, supported those charities over the last few nights and a special thanks as well um, because it's it's long you know it's very very well deserved to anyone working in the healthcare field at the moment all the nurses doctors everybody looking after patients and putting themselves out there on the front line thank you so much for everything that you're doing um you might remember that earlier this year with my album rain dance i decided to give away a copy to anybody who works in that field and while i don't have physical copies printed up of this album Are we back? Please tell me we're back. We're back! Excellent. Why does that keep happening? I don't know. Um, if you missed that, in short, anyone who works in the healthcare field, uh, you you can get either Hyold for free by just sending me a message. I'm more than happy to send it to you as a sort of a small thank you from me. Okay, so the next track that I am going to play for you is a track called East Wind. And East Wind is, is sort of inspired by the album of the same name by Andy Irvine. And uh, it's sort of, think of it as halfway between a trad tune and Marrakesh, kind of like bang in the middle. I wanted to, uh, you know, get that sort of Eastern feeling uh, into a tune and then mess around with it a little bit. So as you know, like most reels are in 4-4, four, four, jigs are in 6-8, etc, etc. This one kind of swims around all of those a little bit. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and again, I hope the sound st stays on. Gremlins in the machine tonight. But here we go, this is track number four from the album, this one's called East Wind. Thank you. 
There you go, East Wind. Uh, that is, that's a fun one to play. Uh, I'm really looking forward to being able to play live again because I really miss that buzz. As I said, that gig with Mick McCauley last week, you know, just kind of the two of us were, we felt robbed at the end of it because it lasted for an hour and the both of us, you know, we could have played for another four hours easily. Um, so yeah, it was an awful, awful lot of fun. So um, before I go any further, I want to say a huge thank you to Irish Music Magazine for hosting this uh, on Facebook this evening. I really appreciate it. Uh, Robert Houston, in particular, the, uh, the director and the editor um, of Irish Music Magazine, is such a friend to Irish musicians, Irish arts, um, and Irish culture all over the world, no matter where it comes from or who makes it. Um, you know, Robert is always kind of at the forefront of everything, promoting everybody, um, lifting everybody up. So, Robert, I know I'm speaking for the whole community, at least of the musicians that I know, when I say thank you for all of the hard work that you do. It's very, very much appreciated. Um, and you know we wouldn't be none of us would be where we are without you so thank you so much Robert so let's see who is on the comments at the moment uh, Susan Craft met you at Irish Fest in Muskegon last year I love your music you're so talented and a really decent bloke please be there in 2021 I hope to be uh, Susan I was supposed to be there this year uh, and um, unfortunately uh, you know the world had other ideas so uh, that unfortunately didn't happen, but uh, soon, 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 soon. Uh, if not next year, definitely the year after. Uh, I hope that uh, you know everything can go back to as as normal as possible. Uh, going to Merlefest next year in the fall. Uh, I may or may not be there. I'm not sure yet. The fifty fifty. Uh, if not next year, definitely the year after. Um, so not one hundred percent about Merle. Um, but the calendar is still kind of all over the shop. I think every musician is sort of in the same boat at the moment. Um, all right, let's keep going. Um, what do we have next? We have oh, Tamish Vichyha. This is a good one. Uh, will I play this with the capo one or not? Uh, no, I'll play it in the standard. No, I'll play it in the normal tuning. So uh, I was very recently in a program called Saulu. Uh, it's on my. Facebook page and on my uh, you'll find it on my website and stuff like that but it's a program that TG Cahar TV made over here or TG4 uh, TG Cahar TV and um, it's an amazing piece of art they came up with a sort of as like a showcase for different musicians and dancers and different cultural and social projects uh, but if you get a chance uh, head on to like my website and my social media pages and find Saulu S-A-M-H-L-U Father has a little line over it uh, a diacritical mark is what that's called and uh, yeah take a look at it because it is an amazing art um, highly highly recommended I, I got to go over and record with Bill Whelan uh, over in Roundstone uh, on one of his tracks and then they also use some of my music and I ended up composing for it as well which is uh, sort of a new experience for me writing music for a, a TV project all right so we'll go straight into Team Shrikyaha Tamish uh, Fichyaha means literally let's go out under the rain and it's a story that I remember from school about these three druids that go up to uh, you know the, the, their whatever the local druids in the town or whatever it might be and uh, they you know they get a warning sort of that this rain is coming to the town and that when the rain falls on the town everyone's going to go crazy so they decide okay well you know that's not what we want we're going to go up the mountains and we're going to hide until the rain is gone. So they go up the mountains, they go into a cave, they wait there. And then they realize while they're inside that if the rain that comes is going to make everyone go mad and they're up in the cave, you know, not going mad, well, the mad becomes the new normal. And then they're the mad ones. So they decide, you know, the wisdom between themselves, they decide, well, actually, okay, we better go out under the rain. And that literally translates to Chimish Fichia in Irish. So that's where that story comes from and it's a good metaphor I suppose for how things are at the moment in that you know none of us can avoid this madness, this Covid, you know, uh, the effects of it so we just kind of have to embrace it and roll with it. There's a vaccine here, you know, we're all going to get it hopefully within the next 12 months and hopefully things then will be able to go back to normal as much as possible. So. That's what this set is about. The first one is called McNally's, named after these fantastic Kieran McNally guitars. And the second one is called the Adirondack Reel. So, it goes something like this.
I don't know what's going on. We just have to roll with it. At least I'm, I'm watching. I'll start that one again. That is Timish Fichat. Yeah. So, hope you're enjoying the stream, folks. I apologize about all the sound issues. I have no idea what is causing them. I've never had this problem uh, before, but who knows? We just roll with it. That's the message of the song. Well, you know, if you have the power to change it, change it. If you don't, just accept it and move on. Uh, good advice for life as well, I think. So that is Timish Fichat. Yeah. And... Um, let me know what you think of the album so far. I have been neglecting my Instagram messages. I'm very sorry. Uh, I will go through some of those now. Um, but let me think. Let me know what you think of the tracks so far. I'm uh, curious to hear uh, what you think because, um, as you know, you know I've, I've played bits and pieces of tunes here and there in my lives. It's but sets, but I've never actually sat down to compose uh, trad music or trad inspired music for the guitar before. This is the first time doing it. So. Uh, looking forward to hearing what you think, um, and remember as well, you can get the album on shanehennessy.ie. It's not available as a physical CD yet, it's only available as a download, so if you head over to shanehennessy.ie, um, you'll find all the links there to uh, Is Your Hill, and you'll be able to get it. Um, as far as all of the um, uh, you know, streaming services and stuff like that, it will be on it at some point. It won't be on it straight away, uh, but Is Your Hill will probably at some point next year. Um, I'll put it up there, but for now it's only available from shanehennessy.ie um, Okay, what will we move on to next? We'll do the, oh, the transatlantic set, that's a, that's a good one to do Now I need one of my uh, hard enough picks, something like this So this is a um, this is a track called the Transatlantic set on the album, and it's a it's a flat picking set. 
So uh, the first one is called the um, the Browns Hill jig, and then the second one is called the Lock jig, and the one is called the Appalachian because it's more like a reel. Um, but it's uh, it's a good good fun to play. I I played hints of it last year on the when I was touring, especially in the Irish Fest scene. Um, but I'm gonna give you a, a a full whack of it now. So this is the Browns Hill. Uh, to start off with, Browns Hills, uh, an area in Carlow where my mum's side of the family is from. Lockdown jig, I don't think that needs too much explanation. And then the Appalachian, this one goes out to, um, somebody mentioned Merlefest earlier on, I think it was Tracy, uh, who had tuned in and mentioned Merlefest. Um, but uh, to my, my brothers in Scythian, uh, the Federicas, and uh, of course Ethan and Johnny and Stevie, who I haven't met yet, and... Noel and Fritz and everybody who I've met via City and this one goes out especially to you. So uh, if the sound goes out in this one, uh, I will just stop and I'll start it again. That's all we can do. So here we go. The uh, transatlantic set. Oh, forgot the reverb. Here we go.
There you go, that is the transatlantic set. And I hope you enjoy that one, it's my flat picking set. Um, it's a good bit of fun playing that one. Uh, which pick am I using now? Or am I using a pick at all now? Uh, oh no, I'm not using a pick at all for the last tune. I'm just tuning down, that's all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a huge amount of uh, fun to, uh, to make this, this recording. It's been a, a blast to be able to get back into my roots playing traditional music. And um, I just want to say thank you in advance for, you know, to, to everybody who is, you know, purchasing the album, but also the people who have watched the live streams that I've done throughout this year. Um, you know, contributing to the tip jar and sending messages afterwards, sharing it with your friends, um, album sales. I mean, all of that has made a huge, huge difference to me because um, at the beginning of the pandemic, I think like most musicians, I was very down about the whole situation, thinking, you know, gigs are gone. You know, will there still be a career here in two years' time, three years' time? And there, of course, there's going to be knock-on effects, but that has, you know, the support has kept my spirits up hugely. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has helped me through this period. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to move on to the uh, last piece on the album. And this is a piece called Chrysanthemum. And this is a piece that I've been kind of toying around with uh, for years. I'm going to use this guitar. Yeah, actually I'll use my other guitar for this one. Um, move over to my studio model, McNally. Yeah, it's more like it. But yeah, and it's in tune already, I love that. Um, so yeah, a huge thank you to everybody and uh, I hope you will enjoy this recording. Again, thank you to the Arts Council for supporting this. Thank you to Irish Music Magazine for having this online as well. And uh, is the sound working? I have two comments saying about sound, but I see the sound working on my end. So, say that again? There's a loop on, I think. A loop? I don't have any loops here. Okay, something odd is happening. I'll just plug it out and plug it back in again. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay, that should definitely be working now, I hope. Thank you to the invisible tech support outside. <laughs> go uh, straight back into uh, yeah we're going back into the last set again thank you everybody I, I do really appreciate all your support this year thank you for your support with this new album um, is there anything else that I wanted to say I wrote down a load of things that I want to say because I usually just forget and I just start you know talking and people like that it's great on stage but you know when you actually want to talk about stuff it's, imp it's important to write it down um, no I think I've, I've said everything I wanted to say so um, thank you again to everybody who is, um, you know, listening in and supporting, and I'm going to leave you with this. This is Chrysanthemum. This is the last track on the album. And this is an idea that I had floating around for a long time. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's intended to be a sort of a mellow, very reflective tune. And uh, in the middle then it goes a little bit crazy, and then it comes back a bit more kind of normal-ish towards the end but I suppose it's a good reflection of kind of my experience as, as a human through this lockdown period you know as, as it's been a very reflective time you know there's the middle part where things feel like they're gonna go a bit mad and then towards the end uh, things there's a kind of a, a, a particular chord section towards the end that I really love that's very beautiful and very reflective um, really a sort of it's nearly like a self-portrait in music um, but I hope you've enjoyed all the tunes. I look forward to reading your comments later and seeing what you think about the album and about the different tracks. I'm looking forward to touring again. Um, I'm working on a lot more music as well, a huge amount of music. So I look forward to bringing you all uh, some of that uh, in the new year. But for now, I just want to say uh, happy Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Uh, and I want to say uh, stay safe. You know, uh, it's we all want uh, as normal a Christmas as possible. It may not be possible this year. I know I just cancelled, you know, our, our Christmas break this year, myself and my partner. Um, but the two of us, you know, we'll um, we'll deal with it, you know, and we'll, we'll get away some other time uh, during next year. So, right, without further ado, I am going to play you the last track on the album. 
leave it there. Thank you so much for and I will see you all again very, very soon. This is Chrysanthemum.
Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Have a happy Christmas, happy holidays, and I'll see you all again soon. And thank you again for supporting me this year. I really, really appreciate it. Enjoy the new album, and I'll talk to you all again very, very soon.